Hello, I'm Lisa from Minarc, and this video will run you through the design, features and benefits of a Biora walk-in research chamber. Over the next five minutes, I will show you through an example of one of our plug-and-play walk-in chambers designed specifically for plant research purposes. This chamber gives a user the ability to test a variety of plants of different shapes and sizes under a variety of climactic scenarios in strict laboratory conditions. The exterior dimensions of this chamber are 3.5 metres wide, 3.4 metres high and 12 metres long. At this size, we maximise internal space of a single module while ensuring the chamber can be easily transported by road without need for a pilot vehicle. As a modularised system, Biora walk-in chambers can be made to almost any size or dimension, providing plenty of flexibility through our custom design process. The chamber is easily lifted into position using either forklift slots or lifting lugs at the top of the chamber. As a self-supporting structure, the chamber can be deployed almost anywhere that has access to power and water. For remote areas, battery or diesel operated modules can be connected. This walk-in chamber has been designed specifically with three separate zones, an airlock, the main growing room and a HVAC mechanical room. The airlock is a sealed entrance to the chamber also known as an anteroom or vestibule. The airlock is pressurised to act as a physical barrier between the main grow room and the outside environment. An acting part as a utility room, housing items such as laboratory gowns, PPE or hand decontamination station. The airlock contains the HMI as a digital dashboard with Biora central control software to monitor and control key environmental parameters within the chamber such as temperature, relative humidity, lighting, airflow and CO2. The HMI records all data from inside and outside the chamber, providing analytics on all environmental parameters. Data can be displayed graphically for local and remote end users. Alerts can be preset to show any disparity between the present value and set points across key metrics. The software is fully programmable, allowing a user to automatically manipulate the environmental conditions and set up diurnal cycles which can be daily, weekly, or seasonally. The main grow room here is 9.5 metres long, 3.2 metres wide, providing a floor space of approximately 30 square metres internally. The custom design allows for an interior height of 2.78 metres, which includes space for a false ceiling. This far exceeds the height of any standard ISO high cube shipping container and is ideal for tall plants or multi-tiered configurations. The floor is a non-slip, hospital-grade vinyl. All corners and right angles have smooth coving in both the airlock and grow room, aiding cleaning and decontamination between experiments or grow cycles. This chamber has been designed in accordance with the required containment and biosecurity conditions specified by both the Office of the Gene Technology Regulator, OGTR, and the Department of Agriculture, Water and the Environment, DAWE. Please contact MINARC for more information in relation to these specific provisions. Chamber walls are pressurised, allowing uniform horizontal air flow throughout. The process is driven in part by the HVAC fans located inside the false ceiling. HEPA filters are also housed within the false ceiling and are accessible by exterior hatches. Fitted pre-filters prolong the life of HEPAs as the air is continuously filtered to the required ISO and BC2 standards. Two silt trap inspection drains are recessed into the floor. Drains are accessible from inside and outside the chamber and can easily connect to a sewer pipe or decontamination reservoir. The chamber is fitted with taps to provide potable water inside for irrigation and cleaning. As the primary light source, the chamber is fitted with high-intensity broad-spectrum LEDs that are dimmable. While different light options suit different applications, these lights are designed to mirror natural conditions plants experience outside. Lights of varying spectrums and intensity are optional for specific vegetation and flowering conditions. Each bank of lights can be run independently through the HMI. The chamber is equipped with general lighting used when grow lights are off or during maintenance. The third section is the HVAC and mechanical equipment room, insulated and located at the rear of the chamber, with a separate door accessible from outside of the chamber. Temperature and humidity control equipment are all located within this zone. This room provides uniform and preconditioned air to the main room and controls temperature, relative humidity 
and CO2. As we move around the exterior of the Biora chamber, there are four external hatches built into the chamber roof. This means that apart from lighting, all chamber maintenance can be done outside of the chamber's containment boundary. Here we have the outdoor air conditioning unit, switchboard and main isolator. This allows for an easy connection to an external power source and ethernet for remote connectivity. Here are the connections for mains water supply and drainage. The design allows a sloped roof with guttering and downpipe that can be fixed to a storm water connection or soak well. All doors are lockable with access controlled via an RFID access. The chamber can be fitted with third-party devices such as cameras, fire suppression systems and exit and emergency lights that are cabled back to the switchboard. In summary, here's another quick view of all sides of the Biora chamber. Whilst this chamber was designed for plant research, additional applications could include post-entry plant quarantine, tissue culture, vertical farming and more. If you have any queries or would like more details on customising your walk-in research chamber, please contact Minarch or visit the MyNARC website at www.mynark.com.